Russia's devastating war in Ukraine in which we thought it couldn't possibly get uglier, but mm -hmm. it did today. When a powerful missile strike on a train station with thousands of innocent civilians, they've been using that train station to evacuate out of the east. At least 50 people were killed, nearly 100 wounded. They'd simply been trying to flee ahead of an expected offensive by the Russian military. KTLA's Kimberly Chang joins us live from our news center with more. Kimberly? Sheriff Pedro adding to evidence of potential war crimes by Russian troops. Images from Ukraine show carnage at a train station where women and children were attempting to evacuate to safety. A warning the images may be hard to see. A blood-soaked teddy bear, one of the horrifying sights from a train station in eastern Ukraine that was hit by a missile. Ukrainian officials say 50 people, including children, were killed as they waited at the evacuation point in Kramatorsk. 300 others were wounded. The Russian words, for the children, were painted on remnants of a rocket. This is an ordinary railway terminal. People crowded, waiting for the trains to be evacuated. Addressing the Finnish parliament Friday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called it an evil without limits. As many as 4,000 people were at the train station. Russia's defense ministry denies any role in the attack. Russia has suffered significant losses of troops. As we have seen Russian forces leave the north and move into Belarus and into Russia. Uh, we are beginning to see indications uh, that they are in fact uh, uh, working on ways of refitting and resupplying uh, these units, including discussions about how to, how to re replace uh, lost troops. Zelensky called for more countries to supply weapons to Ukraine and to impose additional sanctions against Russia. The U.S. announced it will send thousands more weapons. Slovakia's prime minister committed its S-300 air defense system to Ukraine. S-300s can fly hundreds of miles and knock out cruise missiles and warplanes. Meanwhile, the U.N. General Assembly voted to suspend Russia from the Human Rights Council. To us, it is significant, only the second time in, second time in history, and it speaks to uh, the global outrage. Russian forces have pulled back from advancing on the Ukrainian capital as they retreated from the city's suburbs and shifted their focus to the eastern part of the country. Residents are uncovering bodies and destruction. Here in Bucha, we saw our humanity being shattered, and it is the whole world is mourning. Ukrainian officials have their eyes, Kimberly, on the territory of neighboring Belarus. What's happening there? Well, Shara, a spokesperson for Ukraine's general staff of the armed forces says Belarus is conducting operational and combat activities at training grounds throughout the country, and there's a possibility of missile and airstrikes against Ukraine from the territory of Belarus. All right, Kimberly Chan reporting. Thank you.